提起全世界最大的私募股权基金兼另类投资公司百事通集团，可以说是无人不知。作为掌握数千亿美元资产、业务领域横跨私募、银行、房地产、特种基金和企业债务管理的顶级金融机构，其创始人苏世民的商业判断，在华尔街一直是具有风向标的意义。不久前，百事通集团把目光投向了全球房地产市场，还斥资二十三亿元人民币购买了中国上海的华闵帝豪大厦。这其中的原因是什么？他对全球经济环境怎么看？下面就让我们来听一听他是怎么说的。According to the latest report, Blackstone reported a 33% rise in profit this quarter because of high running of earnings from the Real estate market business. So they are very interested in your forecast for real estate market in the future. You know the real estate markets have responded uh, uh, quite well uh, to the lower interest rates. Um, real estate doesn't have exactly the same cycle as corporations. Um, real estate tends to be able to do quite well. Uh, when, when you have uh, relatively slow growth, uh, and the growth is sufficiently slow uh, that uh, hardly anyone is building new buildings, so so you don't get new supply, and and you get GDP growth, and and with GDP growth, uh, you basically fill up your buildings at that rate, uh, and if you have borrowed a lot of money against those properties. And you increase、uh, your occupancy by two percent a year, and you do that for five years. That's that's almost taking a fifteen percent vacant building and making it almost filled.、Uh, so you don't need uh, fantastic uh, economic growth to do well in the developed world.、Uh, it's different, of course, in the emerging world.、Uh, Where where people are building much more uh, supply, uh, so so we see the U.S.、Uh, as remaining、uh, a, a good place、uh, to buy assets, although a lot of appreciation from the troubled times、uh, has has uh, 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 happened uh, already. There's some interesting things left, but but a lot less than there were three or four years ago. Europe, on the other hand, is where the U.S. was as an investment opportunity,、uh, and and that's a great opportunity.、Uh, the difference in Europe is that we don't expect the European economies to recover、uh, like the U.S. economy does. So the things we buy in Europe、uh, have to be、uh, bought at a cheap enough price so you can do well just by fixing those buildings. Uh, and not expecting good economic growth、uh, to help you. Asia in real estate is also interesting,、uh, and it's interesting for different reasons. Um, uh, the, 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 the new、uh, regulatory requirements, combined with some other factors,、uh, have, have led、uh, a number of the banks in、uh, Asia to not be as aggressive lending money. Uh, and, and what that's done with some of the Asian slowdown is it's put pressure、uh, on developers of real estate、uh, so that they can't necessarily get the money they need, and sometimes they find themselves under financial pressure with the slowdown. That financial pressure works really well for us because if those real estate owners have to sell,、uh, we're the largest buyer. Of, of real estate、uh, in the world,、uh, and and so for us, the prices become、uh, better, the number of opportunities is much better, the competition is much less, and so we're finding that Asian real estate. Is also in a good cycle. 据《华尔街日报》报道，目前百事通集团正计划募集一支四十亿美元的房地产基金，主要投资中国和其他亚洲国家。如果募集完成，这将成为有史以来投入这一地区的规模最大的一支私募股权房地产基金。不久前，苏世民还慷慨捐资一亿美元给清华大学设立奖学金。毫无疑问，中国正在成为百事通的下一个主场。
最近我们知道，这个李嘉诚已经开始初心在大陆的资产转而投向欧洲了。但是苏世民却对内地的房地产市场还是比较看好的，你怎么看待的呢？那我看苏世民，其实他两个观点是值得注意的。那么第一个就是说，房地产的走势呢，并不一定与这个宏观经济的走势完全步调一致。那么有的时候呢，往往是这个宏观经济或者说经济增长在比较疲软的时候呢，实际上对投资来者来说却是一个好的时机入场。那么另外一点呢，对于一些亚洲的这个房地产开发。发商在他们资金比较紧的时候，实际上也给这个投资者提供了一个好的这样的机会。那我们看最近百事通在国内有两个项目，一个在上海，一个在深圳，都是商业地产的项目。那么这一块呢，苏世民自己也在强调。那么宏观大势呢是一个方面，那么另外呢，其实你在做投资的时候还要个案的逐个来分析。那么另外一点，我们看如果他的投资是比较着眼于长期的收益的话，那么实际上机会还是很多的。